Hello fellow survivors, builders, and explorers. This is Sypha, and welcome to Magic Farm. Ooh, sounds alluring, doesn't it? Sounds rather inviting. Magical farm, you might picture pixies or maybe enchanted tractors. No, sir. You'd be dead wrong. This mod pack is pretty darn brutal. I played around on it for a few hours. My wife and I had a, uh, a save file that we were playing on together. And, boy, it's interesting. One of the things that makes this mod pack what it is is something called Hunger Overhaul. And it is a devious, devious little mod. I don't think it makes your hunger go down any further, but it completely changes what f the food actually does. You, you do not get nearly as much hunger restored, essentially. So even a, uh, a cooked steak only will refill one hunger, and I don't even think it gives you any saturation. I might be wrong about that. I'm, I've never really been uh, too informed on what, the, what the, the saturation actually does. Now, if you notice, I got these planks when I did the, uh, the stick configuration, and you get sticks from those planks. That comes in later when you are making forged tools on an anvil. This mod does a lot of things really cool, but a lot of it is just absolutely brutal. There are new critters running around, and they seem to spawn in the daytime too, and they are drakes. Or dragons, I think they're called drakes, but you have three flavors that I've seen. You got little guys that are about as big as your character, maybe a little smaller. They're nothing to worry about. And then you got these big <laughs> T-Rex looking guys that will just completely mess you up. And then you have full-fledged dragons that are flying around, breathe fire, and want to do very, very bad things to you. Fun, fun, fun. Now, it's not called Magic Farm just for any reason, because farming is key. There are lots and lots and lots of crops this time around. And I will say that the farming seems to be pretty fun. And what you can do is take those crops and mix them together to make different kinds of meals and so forth. So, now, let's see here. One thing that I think that I have determined, and you, oh man, and you do not want to sprint at all when you're playing this. Because you're fighting your hunger bar the entire time. And if you can get an early boost in food, like from grabbing these chickens here, you're going to need it. Oh, yep, and see, I got one hunger down, and that's, I, sh I, I wish I wasn't e didn't even have to jump around like I am right now. But I will cook up these guys, and they're not going to last nearly as long as you would think. You have got to get a garden going quickly. And I might be wrong about this too, but I don't think bone meal really works on a lot of the new crops either. I believe you get all of the new types of seeds by punching grass, and the reason I'm not doing that right now is because it makes an absolute mess of your inventory. Another big change is that when you start getting low on hunger, you start getting different effects, such as slowness, or slowness mining fatigue, and that kind of stuff. Now, what I am doing right now, looking for livestock as I'm looking for a place that I want to set up. Oh, here's some... I think these are berry bushes. Do I have to have an empty hand? 
I thought you could, oh no, you do have to break them. I'm thinking of something else. But I'm going to grab those. Oh good, there's some pigs. But I am looking for a place to set up because I do not want to set up in the snow. And that's just going to make uh, farming a little more annoying. There's sheep here, and I'm going to grab them. And I believe that sheep, I've noticed that sheep will sometimes drop uh, mutton. So sheep can also be a source of food. So what I'm going to do is get a... Uh, a nice garden established. Oh, come on, don't run away from me. I can't chase you down. Anyway, get a home established, get a nice garden established, and just kind of show you what it takes to survive. And you can see, I am already feeling the effects. So I, oh, there's copper. I'm, I'm, I can't even... Okay, we're, we're out of the snow now. But I am going to dig in and spend the rest of this day foraging. Yes, I grabbed my table and looking for some other food sources just to last me for a little bit. Oh boy, I shouldn't have used that. I don't have very much uh, wood to turn into charcoal. I hear more chickens, that's good, but i got to get some food into me before I can get out there and get them. And good morning. I went ahead and made a bed just to kind of speed things along. I cooked up all that chicken, seven chicken, and you can see it didn't even fill up my hunger. I am going to... okay, that looks good. I like the look of those blue trees. I don't know what they are. Oh, see, I keep finding myself jumping, and I don't want to jump whenever I can avoid it. Okay, that is cotton, I believe. I'm not too worried about it. I don't know. Oh, those are candleberries. That is not a food item, but I know it's useful. Oh, man, I wish I had some bones. That's something I haven't done in any of my uh, my videos yet, is tamed an animal. Oh my goodness, what are you? You're cool looking. This also has biomes of plenty in it. So e even though I am seeing a bit... Ooh, magic wood. Neat. That stuff's really cool looking. I'm going to grab the rest of it. One thing I've noticed is that some of these biomes of plenty trees don't have good compatibility with this mod pack. And I will show you what I mean as soon as I get back down to the ground here. So normally when you take a regular wood and you go like that, see how in this you get these extra planks? But if that, yeah, see, they're trying to go right to the stick phase, but this mod doesn't let it happen. So the only thing these are good for is, well, just in plank form like that. But that's a cool looking wood nonetheless. I don't know what you are. Okay, you're Blackberry. That's something I haven't come across yet at all. What is the name of this biome? Oh, that's a tag. Okay, hang on. Oh, uh, Mystic Grove. That's pretty slick. I don't really know if this would be a good biome to set up in. I would like to be... Okay, there's a river right there. Did I get turned around? Am I headed back where I was? No, I don't think so. I want to find a nice flat area that I can set up a big farm, and I just walked right past sheep and pigs. Give me your meat. Yep. Yeah, hunger's going down already. I 
I really want to find a place as soon as I can. Alright, this is starting to get a lot better. I just wanted to get away from the snow. And if I can find a place with cows, that would be a, a big boost right off the bat. Nice chunk here. I'm going to go ahead and grab this coal. Okay, forgot to hit my record button. I am killing some sheep and I'm getting some mutton. That will be a nice boost. Cows are pretty important in this pack. So when I find a place, I'd really, really like to find cows very close by. And I probably I really shouldn't even stop to get this, but it was right there asking to be mined. Okay, and I have no mini map in this mod pack, and that's actually going to throw me off. I've been so used to playing with either the voxel mini map or Array's mini map. Oh man. And oh my goodness, I am hungry again. We should have done that. See, I sprinted and jumped. That was doubly bad. Sugarcane is another thing you're gonna need. More candleberries. Ooh, I think these are blueberries. And it, it seems to take quite a while for crops to grow as well. So you gotta keep that in mind. Oh, I just broke some grass and picked up one of the new seeds. Pineapple. Pineapple's actually quite nice. The fruit seemed to be very, very nice. Uh, boy, how do I explain what I'm thinking here? You can mix, you could usually just juice fruit in a juicer to get a nice light meal. Okay, I'm going to have to stop and cook more food. Okay, I got the mutton and the pork all cooked up. Let's see how far it gets me. There goes the mutton. Down to nine pork. Oh man, I need to find a place. I grabbed some snow also while I was waiting because that is actually a cooking ingredient. I just really hope I don't run into any drakes. And the only reason I'm grabbing up the fruit like I am is because you, I don't think you actually get it through the, the seeds by punching the grass like you do the other foods. So when you see that stuff, grab it. Ugh. It's one of those things where, is it worth jumping uh, to grab one chicken? Because that one chicken, right off the bat, is only going to, you know, restore one, one of the hunger. Eggs are nice. Hopefully get a couple chickens out of these eggs. Oh, come here. Hmm. That looks rather interesting, doesn't it? Ah, here, pork. Still no cows, man. Where's all the cows? Come across sheep, chickens, pigs. Stop running. Good thing. 
What is this place? Okay, I think that's poison. Ominous woods. I'll say. Are there any cows in the ominous woods? Whoa, frame rate drop. I got turned around there. Oh, what? Ah! Why am I poisoned? Did I get poked by a plant? Oh, man. That Enderman scared the crap out of me. What was that? A kiwi! Awesome! I am staying away from... the plant. I think it was those things. One of those stuck me or something. Poisonous plant. Oh, What? No. Absolutely not. Okay. Ah! No, it was that plant. Oh man, look at my hunger already. Great. I need to find some cows. Any time now. I don't trust anything. Get out of here. Did you hear that? Oh man, I don't know what that is. That doesn't sound like a cow to me. I'm getting out of here. I'm out! You know what, I really need to make another sword real quick. I mean, if I come across one of those drakes right now, I mean, I, I'm, I'm toast no matter what, but... Okay. I'm gonna make a boat. There's gotta be cows somewhere. I see a cow. I see me a cow. Where there's one, there should be more, right? I'll leave my boat right there. It's not, oh, yes. Okay. I think we have found a home. Excellent. I am going to dig in right here and the finishing touch awesome now I shall make a couple chests here I am actually going to make a a double chest just for food items. I know that seems a little crazy, but it's almost a necessity. Okay, I'll put all my food goods over here. And I gotta get those guys corralled in as soon as I can. Snow is actually a food item. Get my furnace set up. And I want to extend this out a little bit. Give myself a little more room up here. And I need to get some stuff growing. 
Okay, good. We got sheep over there, too. This is excellent. Okay, I'm going to sleep as soon as the sun goes down and get started on my farmland. Okay, this will do for now. Let's go ahead and make a hoe. Where's the sun at? Okay. There is one other thing that might seem a little silly, but there's a reason for it. Or there's a reason why I do it anyway. And that is labeling your crops. Once you recognize what they are, you probably do without, but I really don't know how to do that yet. Or I don't really recognize what I'm trampling on. So I think I have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so if I divide this kind of in half this way, then I can uh, plant six kinds of each crop. Variety is definitely a good thing to have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Blackberries. Drop some eggs, chicken. Oh man, I don't even... Raspberry, okay. Okay, got them labeled. Now, let's go to sleep. <laughs> and hope that a drake doesn't spawn. At least now we have a place to go hide. Come on, son. If you're going down, go down. Oh, I heard an egg. Heard an egg. Did I just... Oh, that was my bed. I thought I saw a chicken inside. Sweet. There we go. Now, like I was saying, we need to start punching grass and getting seeds. There we got some corn. Turn up. Pineapple. And you're just going to be awestruck by the amount of seeds that are in this, this mod pack. Cucumber. Cucumber is very good. Eggplant. I think it was with cucumber, tomato, lettuce... You can make a, a salad that's really easy to make and fills a... Ooh, rice. Okay, rice is a little bit different. I think that we can actually... Yeah, you can plant rice right on the water. Mustard. All right, we have enough seeds to get us started. I'm going to give the wheat its own little row out here, separate from everything else, because we need this for breeding. We're going to use the seeds to, well, obviously grow more, but also to breed chickens. Whoops. Now, let's see, I got another raspberry. Plop you down right there. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of these guys planted. Okay, guys, we got the start to our garden. But this is not enough. We need more variety. Let's see here. I don't have a slot for celery. 
All right, I need to go get some more dirt, and I'm going to just keep working on my farm for a while. Okay, that's going to be all for today. I just wanted to get this thing started and get the basics down. The rest of the work I need to do is just doing the same thing, gathering up more varieties, tr and trying to get this garden filled out the best I can. The rest of it is just kind of taking it easy until your food matures and you have a nice food supply. So next episode, I am going to show you what you can do with all this variety of food and work on making an anvil and a forge and a bloom, I believe is the other thing. You make tools very differently in this mod and it is a lot of fun. But that'll have to wait till next time. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope I will see you next time.